see here when solids are heated they expand and this is known as thermal expansion. See here all solids are made of the atoms and at room temperature also these atoms of the solids keeps on vibrating with the certain amplitude. So, they vibrate in a equilibrium. Now, what happens when the temperature is given to, the, uh, given to them? As the temperature is given to them, it means that as the body is heated, these atoms start vibrating with the larger amplitude because of that expansion takes place. So, this expansion in the solids can be three types. First one is here linear expansion, second one is area expansion. and third one is volume expansion. So, let us discuss first one is here the linear expansion. In linear expansion what happened? Suppose you have taken any metal rod like this whose length is L, original length is L and this is at temperature T 1 degree Celsius. Now, this rod is heated from T 1 to T 2. So, this length will become increases by here delta L. So, when the temperature increases from T 1 to T 2 degree Celsius, length increases by delta L. So, this delta L is directly proportional to original length and change in temperature and this can be written delta L is equal to alpha, alpha is a constant here that is L delta T and alpha can be written delta L that is the change in length divided by L into change in temperature. This alpha is known as coefficient of linear expansion whose unit is per degree Celsius or per Kelvin because L and L unit is here that will get cancelled only per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. So, this can be also written suppose you are taking L 1 and L 2 are the lengths like this you have taken alpha is equal to delta L upon L delta L and change in temperature that is this. If you are taking initial length is L 1 and final length is L 2 at temperature T 2 degree Celsius, then you can write change in length is equal to L 2 minus L 1. And now then it can be written here alpha is equal to L 2 minus L 1 upon L 1 into change in temperature and that can be written L 2 minus L 1 is equal to alpha L 1 change in temperature and L 2 that is the final length at T 2 degree Celsius can be written here. L 1 can be taken common and 1 plus alpha and change in temperature. So, this is about linear expansion. Now, see this is second one is that is the area expansion. Suppose you have got a metal sheet like this whose original area is A at temperature suppose here the T 1 degree Celsius and when you increase temperature from T 1 to T 2. So, temperature increases from T 1 to T 2. So, the rate in change in temperature or increase in temperature is delta T. When the temperature is increased by delta T, the increase in area is this delta A. So, we can write here beta is equal to change in area that is increase in area divided by original area into change in temperature that is increase in temperature. If A 1 is the area, suppose if A 1 is area at T 1 degree Celsius and A 2 is at T 2 degree Celsius, then you can write A 2 is equal to A 1 into 1 plus beta delta T that is the increase in temperature and here increase in temperature can be written T 2 minus T 1. Now, after this area expansion, we can take here volume expansion that is also defined in the same manner just the difference is here about the here you have to take a cubical shape. So, in the volume expansion suppose you have taken V 1 volume at T 1 degree Celsius and V 2 at T 2 degree Celsius. 
then you can write here v2 minus v1 is equal to gamma v1 into increase in temperature. Gamma is here called coefficient of volume expansion and gamma is equal to can be written here v2 minus v1 upon v1 and increase in temperature and also we can write v2 is equal to v1 into 1 plus gamma increase in temperature. So, this is the final volume at T2 degree Celsius, this is the volume at here the T1 degree Celsius, here the gamma is here coefficient of volume expansion and its unit is per degree Celsius. So, the value of alpha, beta and gamma for the given metal or for the given material remains fixed. 